It's always a surreal moment when I have a client from out of state visit me, but really special when they come back for a second time. My goal is to make a positive impact on the appearance of their nails to ensure there is never buyer's remorse. In today's video, you'll see how her nails have progressed over the past year and a half and learn how to achieve results fast. So stay tuned. A couple cups before 11 o'clock and then that's, that's, all. that's all I have for the whole day. It's like after a certain time of the day, it just makes your mouth taste awful. And I'm like, look, gross. Yeah, I think they look way better. Good. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random comment game. Just relax your foot and I'll wrap it. Yeah. And I was like, well, okay. Yeah. Because But yeah, I, I can't take that long medication. I could, but I'm afraid to because it's really hard on the liver. Yeah. He already did some of my job for me. <laughs> Here I'm using the meticulous manicurist toenail nippers to trim the toenails. If you're wondering why I so don't use toenail clippers, I do have a video for that. Yeah, so you can look in my video list or search for why I don't use nail clippers. Oh, good. My husband this time, so that's really nice. Oh, good. Um, we have we go to a, a Latin Catholic mass. It's and time to thin out this not, nail. Um, I always use the nail mycosis you know, solution to prevent the dust from life. flying up into the air. Here I am blending the front portion of the nail that is still thick to the back portion that has new nail growth. The nail should be as thin as possible without cracking or bending because you don't want it to break, but you do want the nail mycosis to be able to soak into the nail plate and get rid of the affected area um, to make it go away. And that being said, the nail mycosis does not penetrate into nail polish. So if you wear nail polish on your toenails, it is going to take much, much longer for any kind of nail fungus to go away. You need to leave your toenails clear so the product can soak in. Yeah, I you know, never know what color to wear, so I'm kind of boring. I stick with either purples or silvers. Yeah, I think some of the purple ones. I love the sparkly ones. Yeah, me too. But my nail polish line, just I just released it um, last Tuesday. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to start, I was going to do my nails this weekend. Of course, I had a million other things I had to, um, unexpected that I had to take care of. Uh -huh. But I'm going to do them. I took a couple days off after Christmas. So I'm going to do my nails and then polish them with normal polish. Days off right after the holiday are such a good idea. Because the hustle and bustle is done. Mm -hmm. Yes. I need to get caught up on all of my paperwork for the year end taxes. I have to get all of the girls' W 2s and stuff done. And uh -huh. it just stresses me out to start the new year with all of that hanging over my head. Sure. I always. January 2nd, I always give them their W 2s. <laughs> For those of you waiting for our electric file to be back in stock, as of today, it has been shipped. So by the time this video publishes, it should be in stock. So you can check back. And visit academy.themeticulousmanicurist.com for the electric file training and techniques course to ensure you're using the machine properly and to avoid injury. So it wasn't too hard to transition into doing all of my own paperwork.
And at one point I thought, you know what, I am gonna hire this out. And then I went and talked to an accountant and I was like, oh, you've got to be joking me. The, the price tag that he put on it, I'm like, no way. And then I still had to keep everything organized and provide him the numbers. And I'm like, wait a second, if I still have to do all of this organization, right. what in the world am I paying you for? No. So. You have to be really good at all kinds of math to do accounting. No, it's just entering numbers into the software. Mm -hmm. it, you have to understand, exactly. yeah, uh -huh. that's what the hard part is keeping your tax tables updated and um, days of the month. You know, you have so many days after the first of the month to pay your social security and federal withholding and mm -hmm. Medicare. And then you have so many days to pay your sales tax. And then you have so many days to pay your unemployment tax. So. The bit that I'm using is the ceramic cross cut medium fine bit. We do have one in medium coarse. If someone isn't familiar or having a bit used on their toes before, it's best to start okay? with yeah. fine bits because the vibration is less and it makes them much more comfortable while you're using okay. it on their feet. They don't get as tense and the ceramic yeah, creates know, less heat vulnerable. so it's much more comfortable for them. Yeah, the good way to measure that is, um, you know, feel it with your fingernail. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's still a little bit of hard keratin there. And then just not leave a tiny bit of color. Mm -hmm. Don't file off all of that darkened area. If I see you next year at Christmas time, it'll all be gone. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Maybe sometime. Yeah. yeah. Every time I... How old is she now? Uh, seven, eight, 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 eight. Oh, okay. She is pretty good. She's seven and eight. as energetic as she's ever been. But then sometimes it catches up with her. She has to keep a, a baby rest. She still thinks she can get up on the roof and what? you know, energetic and, and able to do that if she falls. Oh yeah. The consequences of that are too great. Well sometimes you don't even have to fall. You can just twist something. is going to be fabulous for you while you're here. It's going to be in the 40s and 50s all yeah, week. Yeah, so it's going to feel like Tucson. Yeah. Because we had a real cold spell and it's 40 degrees. And in Tucson it was for a couple days at least. In the early morning and late night. In the daytime it was 60. But then at night, you know, we had to think, oh, is it going to freeze? And then we have to cover our rose bushes, which mm -hmm. is rare to have to think about that. Right. And last February, it was very rare, but we had a... It stays for a while up in the mountain. Yep. But down where we are, it'll last a couple hours and then melt. <laughs> Just enough to say, oh, how pretty. And, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> and not have to get out the snow shovel. <laughs> yeah. But then it's hard to tolerate the hot summer. 
Yeah, I'm sure the air is so dry. Yes, it is. Let's straighten all the way out. You can just rest your foot. How old is your daughter now? She's 20 now. Oh. Is she going to school? Yep, she is going to college. Right now she's in a community college. She's not sure what she wants to do. And I said, well, I'll, I'll pay for your college, but I'll pay for community college until you know what you want to do. Yep. That's, Evan doesn't know what he wants to do either, so yeah. he's going to a community college. Which is better anyway, because, you know, she'll she'll have to do at least some student loans if she goes to university, so, you know, might as well get the prerequisites a lot cheaper. That's right. I used to think that, you know, people really cared about where you got your degree. I got older and started hiring people myself. It, you know, it really doesn't matter to a lot of people where you got the degree. It just matters that you have it. Well, and, and that you understand and have your skill set. Absolutely. So I, I never asked anybody in an interview, where did you get your degree? She's okay with it. So she hates math, but she was saying um, to my mom the other day, like to do something legal, but I don't want to go to law school. And I was like, well, what about paralegal or accounting? You know, you get a little bit of tax law. And she's like, I don't like math. I was like, I don't think that you have to really do algebra and, you know, all of that complicated calculus and stuff like that to do accounting. No. So I'll have to tell her that. It's like, I think you have to know tax law and stay up to date with all of the changes and You can put that foot back in the water. That your son had recently graduated? Yeah. You know, I've always tried to minimize what I put on social idea, but for big moments, right, right. I, I do. I always ask Laura permission. A couple times a year. She doesn't even have Facebook. She's very careful about that. She doesn't like social media. Yeah, my kids don't have it either. That's usually related to an injury that happens down in your matrix. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just age, we can get these corrugations. Uh, vitamin deficiencies. Yep, when it could be a vitamin deficiency. Okay. And um, you don't want to ever thin this out too much because if you thin out the top of that ridge, mm -hmm. that's when it's going to um, split. Yeah. It needs the strength. I only just ever use polish on this foot. That's good. And a nail file. Regular only nail file for that one. So what did you ask Santa for this year? Well, this pedicure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, no, we don't. We're not big gift givers. My husband and I just enjoy the time together. Um, That's nice. And uh, everybody kind of went in on the, the airfare for, for me to get here. Oh, nice. Yeah.
had a problem absorbing the iron. Um, there's probably other other vitamins. I had them check my vitamin D and vitamin B. Those were good. When I, you know, I had to have iron infusions. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Not just a here tap. Here's a pre-made natal vitamin. <laughs> no, they put me on a heavy dose of iron. But even that wasn't working, so they said, well, we'll do an iron infusion and you should start to feel better. Oh, wow. Except even a couple weeks after that, and I started feeling clearer in my head. You know, um, I could remember things better and, and actually have coherent thoughts. Oh, my goodness. You have a good doctor. Yeah. Because that might have been written off as just depression, depression and... Yeah. Put on an antidepressant. Yeah. So I will never ignore small symptoms again. Oh, right. <laughs> People, you know, when I'm in the healthcare field, and I should have, you know, paid attention to that. But that's not uncommon for nurses or doctors or social workers to yeah. ignore their own. Yeah. So that's what happened. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, my goodness. My sweet husband, he took good care of me. Aww. There was several weeks I couldn't do anything. I just lay on the couch. You know, this little mini buffer block is the most simple tool and also the most necessary tool especially when doing a service like this to remove any of the little bits and pieces left around the nail plate that are just too hard to get off with any other piece of equipment. All right up in the pocket on the side, up. Yeah, right to the side, right there, yeah. Are you going to do polish today? Or do you want to go? Do you want to do polish today? What color would you like to do? So what? Um, oops, it's okay. It's on a cord. <laughs> it's similar to what we have. Really? Yeah. There's no Tim Hortons that I love for coffee. They do have pretty good coffee. I don't like Starbucks. Either. I don't either. It's too... I feel like I need to scrape my tongue when I'm finished drinking yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Now, in their defense, I've only tried it, like, once. And I haven't tried any of their other kinds, you um, know, and yeah. nothing fancy or... We do have some fancy. I do like, um, they have a, a, a berry kind of drink that you can get and you can make that keto. Friendly. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't have any sugar in it, so it's fine. Right, Clean yes. Is really good, but... Yeah, I drink weak coffee. I even put a splash of water in every cup of coffee I get. Just one, to cool it down so I can drink it quicker. Yeah. And two, to water it down. I didn't actually think of that. I might like it if I tried that. <laughs>
I can go back in the water. Remember last time I was here, you were talking about a cruise. Yeah, I think that's when we went on the nail cruise. The nail cruise, yeah. That was it. That was nice. The ship was amazing. The food was great. I met some really good friends out of the whole thing. Stone Rose is always great. Yeah. They've always got beautiful stuff there. Nothing really new. Well, I guess I take that back because it has been a while since I've seen you. A new cheese shop went in. Oh. And a new like um, local Michigan-made place right next to the barber shop in Key Bank okay. up there on the corner. So everything in here is Michigan made. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have to check that out. It's nice if you want to get um, a unique gift for somebody to go in there.
You know, I have those same glasses. Oh, do you? Mm hmm My second pair, I just, I, uh, screw came out of them, uh -huh. and I need to <clears throat> get them fixed. So I've been wearing this other pair. Yeah, I like these glasses. Mm -hmm, me too. Rogue, Rogue, yeah, that's the brand. So he's handy too. That's he's very good. handy. Yeah. That's why it's happy. times but I don't know how to tell him I don't want any hanky panky uh -huh. I just want to know if he has a toolbox <laughs> <laughs> Coat. And then I'll go out and grab the polish. 
I've had so many inquiries lately about the availability of my courses to the public. There are courses like the nail polish techniques, the tools techniques, timing and pricing, and the electric file course that are available for anyone to take. Mm -hmm. And the nail polish techniques course is now on special for a limited time. So if you want to have perfect nail polish application and nail polish that never chips, you should take advantage of this special. And he told me that he watches my videos because it helps him to get his mind off of other things. You know, he's gone through some stressful stuff and he has uh, PTSD. Mm -hmm. And so I had a great idea. People are always asking me to make an ASMR video, but I don't oh, really yeah. know what that is. Oh, yeah. So I looked into it a little bit and I had a really good idea about, because whenever I do my clients blow out, they always fall asleep. So I made this video filming myself blow drying one of my clients' hair, well, and the haircut too. I filmed the haircut too, with all of the different like sounds. And then, like it. this one's called Suddenly I See Silver. friend over and we bought a fabulous rib roast and Bruce is the best cook at the holidays. He rubs the meat in this um, rosemary thyme rub and I mean it's just like oh my gosh my mouth is watering right now thinking about it. The way that he cooks the outside of the meat you know it turns like dark but the inside is still Oh my gosh, and it makes the best gravy ever. Does he make the gravy too? Oh yeah. And since we've been so busy this past year, he hasn't been cooking as much as he usually does. So when we do get to sit down and have a family meal, it's like really, really good. But for Christmas, I did buy him a few new kitchen knives, and so maybe he'll be excited about getting back into the kitchen. He loves cooking, but he also loves for it to taste delicious. And if he makes something and you're like, I don't know, this is a little weird, honey. Like he gets mad, I'm like, Stop trying to do things too fancy. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm like, it's still delicious. It's just a little out of your norm. I forget the name of that movie about this um, Indian family who has a restaurant and the son main character is gifted with cooking kitchen that for their restaurant friends. And so he becomes a man on chef. I love that movie. it just for him because I hope he likes it. Yeah. I told uh, some of the therapists that, that uh, 
I like to walk go down and listen. This is really very calming and relaxing. Listen to it and see if it can be you know, a benefit to me. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.